Yeah, Sonica, a citizen contacted police about 10:15 this morning after spotting the body floating in the intracoastal here in the Edgewater area. And a very short time later, Chopper 2 was over the scene as well. So you get an idea of what law enforcement was up against. Take a look. We have since learned that the man found floating in the river is Craig McCullum of Rutherford, North Carolina, 45 years old. Police say just after midnight, they tried to stop the driver of a Ford F-150 on US-1. The truck reported stolen out of North Carolina. They say the driver took off from them, but they were able to deploy stop sticks. The truck stopped and the driver jumped out, took off on foot. They did not find him then, despite an extensive search. Now they say that driver is the same man found in the water. Police say no obvious signs of foul play, but they just don't know how he ended up here, whether it was a drowning or something else. An autopsy is being done to determine the exact cause of death. Now, police say a female passed passenger pictured here was also in the stolen truck, Leanne Craig, and she's also from North Carolina. She was arrested during that original incident overnight, charged with grand theft auto. Now, police say the suspects had no local known connections, probably just passing through the area when that tag hit a license plate reader and law enforcement moved in. We should know more tomorrow following the results of the autopsy. We're live in Edgewater, Volusia County. Claire Metz, West 2 News. Claire, thank you.